It was made by God. Our creator, not Congress or the government. Number two, it was made for marriage matrimony. Hebrew 13 chapter verse 4, it says, Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adultery, God shall judge. It was made for, it was, it was not made for singleness. In 1 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, verse 9, he glory to, and say, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, he glory, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abuse of himself with mankind. Hallelujah. So it was not for made, glory to God, for singleness. Number fourth reason, it was not made for bestiality. Having sex with your dog, having sex with your horse or your goat. The Bible says in Le Leviticus, the 18th chapter, verse 23, Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therein. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down. Therefore, it is confusion. Number fifth reason, it was not made for homosexual affair between two men. In Leviticus, the 18th verse 22, Thou shalt not, in glory to God, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as womankind. It is abomination. Number six reason, it was not made for transgender. Between, between a, a glory to God, a woman, glory to God, hallelujah, trying to be a, a, a man and a man trying to be a woman. In Romans chapter 1, verse 25, it says, Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship, hallelujah, and serve the creatures more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Hey, glory to God. It's not for the adultery while spouse still living. In 1 Corinthians, the 7th chapter, verse number 11, but, but, and it, but if she depart, let her remain unmarried or reconciled to her husband and let not the husband put away his wife. It was not made for one night stand. If you have a problem with your sex or life, the Bible say, hey, glory to God, in, in 1 Corinthians 7, chapter verse 9, in the American standards say, but, but if they do not have self-control. Let them marry. It is better to marry than to burn. So it is not made for one night stand with a condom, but instead get married. In the King James Version, in glory to God, it say, But if they cannot contain themselves, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. Hey, glory to God. I'm telling you, it is not it is not for you being a transgender man lying saying you are a woman then the man fall into lust with you and you say that you were you are a man it's time for you to stop deceiving people and be honest with people in the beginning of the relationship sex is sacred sex is holiness Sex is not designed, glory to God, hallelujah, for singleness. It's not designed for homosexuality. And it's not designed for lesbianism or designed for transgender. If you are going to experience sex, hallelujah, I hope you are married. Because you are breaking the bed. You are breaking the Bible. Say marriage is honorable. Hallelujah. And the bed is under fire, but whoremongers and adulterer, God, G O D, J E S U S, gonna judge. So I'm telling you, if you're watching this video, I'm not bashing. homosexuality. I'm not bashing 
Let's begin. Sir. I'm not bashing transgender. I'm telling you that sex is sacred. Sex is holiness. Sex is separate from any other environment or behavior. So if you want to experience sex for the first time, don't do it unless you are married. Hey, glory to God, because sex is sacred. Sex is set apart. Hey, glory to God, sex was not made by the government. Congress have nothing to do with sex. Congress have nothing to do with a family because a family started in Genesis. And glory to God, sex didn't start in, glory to God, you made decision between two men or make decision between a man and a woman. This is shit, decision come from God. God designed sex. Hey, glory to God. So people, listen to me very carefully. Sex is not for singleness. Tell that man, I'm waiting till I'm married. Tell that woman, I'm waiting until I walk down the aisle. Hey, glory to God, and say I do and get married and I experience the best sex, the best making love. Hey, glory to God, between two people become one flesh. Hey, glory to God. So sex is sacred. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. And a tenth reason. Hey, it is not for Valentine, the pagan, hallelujah, hallelujah, celebration. Now, we forget that, hallelujah, Valentine Day was set aside with the martyred Christians. Yes, Hallelujah. A Valentine's Day was set apart where they have sex with animals. It's confusion. You you celebrate in a day that they martyred Christian as a day that they have sex with animal as a ritual. Hey, glory to God. So it's not for Valentine's, the pagan celebration, hotel visit with roses on the bed for a quickie. Then, when it's said and done, it is a sinful act between God. So, sex is sacred. Hallelujah. The best sex you can have is when you are married with no regrets. When you have sex and no, glory to God, guilty conscience. Hey, glory to God. So, I'm telling you, sex is not for singleness. Sex is for holy matrimony between a man and a woman. Not a man and a beast or a woman with a beast, but a man and a woman with Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Steve or Jane and Jane, but between Adam and Eve, the sacredness of sex. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sex is sacred to the T. Hey, glory to God. Sex, my friend. The bed is under fire, but whoremongers and adulterers, God say, I'm going to judge. So the sacredness of sex is when two persons love each other. When two, glory to God, a male and a female, opposite sex, get married together, 
hallelujah, to have the best sex, the best making love. So sex is sacred. Glory to God.